Hello, Hi. I'm Karen Boone. I'm a State Farm Agency owner here in Raleigh. And today I have the pleasure of meeting with Dr. Cynthia Deal of Deal Plastic Surgery on behalf of Small Business Insight Magazine. So thank you, Cynthia, for taking time out to meet with me today. Thank you, I'm excited. Well, so am I. Now, throughout this interview, would you prefer to be Cynthia or Dr. Deal? Cynthia's fine. Okay, all right. Well, Cynthia, tell us a little bit about what you do here at Deal Plastic Surgery. Tell us a little bit about you. All right. Well, I'm a board-certified plastic surgeon, and my practice is primarily aesthetic plastic surgery. So my surgical focus is breast and body surgery. So we do a lot of breast augmentations, reductions, breast lifts, and we do a lot of liposuction, tummy tucks, um, a lot of labiaplasty surgery, which is a phenomenal surgery for a lot of women. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a very strong focus in this office on non-invasive plastic surgery. We have a lot of technology that um, can reduce fat, can tighten skin, can um, take away sweating and odor under the arm that are non-invasive technologies and that is um, a big direction that plastic surgery is going because fewer scars with big results or no scars with big results is always the goal. So sometimes we have to have machines to help us do these things. Sure, so sure. non-invasive plastic surgery is um, a very big focus in this office. We also have an aesthetic side where we do an awful lot of laser treatments, fillers, Botox, peels, that sort of thing which can make a big difference. Absolutely. So you're building confidence. Exactly. Absolutely. Making the world a more beautiful place. Thank you, Dr. Deal. That's right. Now, let me ask you, how long have you been doing this? Um, this is the seventh year of my plastic surgery practice, and I did general surgery before I started my second career as a plastic surgeon, and I really love plastic surgery. Do you? Yeah. Well, it shows by that big, beautiful smile that you display when you talk about it. Well, surgeons tend to be very impatient, and with plastic surgery, we're, we're making changes on the table, and we get to see our results pretty immediately, so I understand. <laughs> that's very satisfying. Indeed. Well, since you've been doing this for a while, have you seen a change in the public's desire? for plastic surgery or? I, I think that more what has happened is with the availability of information on the internet, mm -hmm. people privately are able to get a lot of, you know, education and information and look at pictures or find out that, oh my gosh, there is something you can do about an enlarged labia or something mm -hmm. like that. And so then it's made um, information much more accessible mm -hmm. and then they're educated before they even come into our office. and. Um, Definitely with non-invasive, you know, that is the direction of the future, I think. So I'm embracing it. There's a sure. part of us that fights that because we're surgeons and we want to get in there. But, mm -hmm. you know, when the technology is so incredible, mm -hmm. you shouldn't fight it. Like, you mm -hmm. should embrace it and use it and get good at it. And so that's that's a lot of it is, you know, you need to you need to have a lot of attention to detail. You need to have very good technicians and employees that are working with you and we have that and we've had phenomenal success with some of these um, machines and we we're you know wide open and, and trying to keep abreast of what the ne next best thing is mm -hmm. I <laughs> so I think it's a combination of patients having a lot more access to information mm -hmm. and knowing what they want mm -hmm. and and that takes away some of the sort of the quiet secretiveness about plastic surgery sure. also is it's out there more and it's on TV and people are people are not so sheepish about it about asking for what they want about asking for what they want and telling you what they've had. So I've noticed a lot that's more. That's true, too. <laughs> and, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree? That's, oh, yeah. It's mm -hmm. helpful to know everything. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about your team so we can get some insight as to how you are organized here in this beautiful office located here in Briar Creek. Yeah. We, um, we have a team in the office that's partly surgical 
and then partly non-surgical. Okay. So, you know, I'm a plastic surgeon, so we do a lot of surgery, and we have a full operating room here in our office that's certified. Um, so the surgical team deals with that side of it, and I have amazing people that have worked with me from the very beginning. Um, the non-surgical side are, for example, our all therapy technicians and our mirror dry technicians for underarm sweat and odor. Um, cool sculpting, which is a non-invasive fat reduction that's amazing. And you know, the people that are, that are working these machines have been with me since we got them and they are very good at it. And then we have an aesthetic side to our office, which um, is manned by Eileen, who um, has been doing aesthetics for 20 some years now. And she's the most talented injector I've ever known. Okay. Um, she's a trainer for a number of the companies and she has a very phenomenal, loyal patient following because she's so good at what she does. Sure. She's also well versed in lasers and she's very good at knowing, you know, people with different skin types what is okay and what's not okay, okay and that's critically important. There's a lot of people doing lasers around here that don't know the nuances and you have to be very careful with lasers because they're machines that can cause damage if you're not careful. So it's important to be, you know, know that the person who's taking care of you knows what they're doing. Absolutely. So we've got a whole team on the aesthetic side that um, work with the lasers and the peels and the injectables. Understood. Now, Cynthia, is this your only location here it in Rock Creek? Is it your vision or your dream to expand throughout Raleigh? Or do you feel like Briar Creek is enough? I think Briar Creek is the perfect location mm -hmm. for me. We have a 6,000 square foot space here. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, we have our operating room right here on the premises. Um, I'm not planning to expand into other offices because I like for us to all be contained in the same area. Sure. If, if somebody needs me on the aesthetic side, I'm right here in the same mm -hmm. space. So I like that about it. Mm -hmm. And we've got a big enough space that We've got everything we need right here. Sure. And Briar Creek is at this confluence of all these highways that it's the most, I can't think of a better location that's accessible to people from all over the state, really. Sure. It is a wonderful location yeah. as far as being able to get in and get out. Mm -hmm. And it's a growing area, which is sort of like self-contained. You can find everything here. Right. So that was a good move and a good choice for yeah, Briar Creek. We've been very happy here. Okay. From small business owner to small business owner, what are your challenges? You know, challenges are getting the word out, mm. always, and as a physician, it's always been a little bit odd to me that we advertise, you know, that people would find their plastic surgeon on Google, for example, but that's how a lot of people come to us. Sure. Um, the most valuable our patient referrals you know if we've done something and somebody was happy and they went and told their friends like we love that mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people coming through this office maybe they're not coming to see me but maybe they're coming to see Eileen and so they find out and so we get you know there's a lot of patient turnaround inside of our office but there's an awful lot of people that are finding me through the internet Mm. So you have a very large internet presence. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that we do. I don't, um, there's a lot of things that I don't do. I don't like to have my before and after photos online because mm. that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. I, sure. I feel like patient privacy is very important to me and we have photos that we can show people here in the office, but I don't like to have it broadcast on the internet. So that's kind of something that I've decided and, you know, maybe some patients like that. Some people don't like that. Um, but that's kind of a stand that I've made. I don't really like a whole lot of telemedicine and people that travel for surgery because okay. I like for my patients to be close enough by that if they have an issue or something that I'm available to them. Um, but yeah, I think getting the word out when you have a new technology or something you want people to know and, mm -hmm. and um, you can be very aggressive online and I don't tend to be that way. I don't tend to promote the social media and as much as probably I could. Sure. But again, sure. that's kind of like there's this line between you're a physician and you know, mm -hmm. 
and mm-hmm. being a doctor, and then you're just out there trying to and you know, a fine be on line, social media. It? It's a very mm-hmm. fine line, and it's mm-hmm. it's not it's not something that I've ever been completely comfortable with. You know, tweeting and like that. Right. <laughs> I just, understand. Like I'm a doctor, but um, but some people are much more aggressive that way, and and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just what your comfort is. And it it sounds like to me what I'm hearing from you is that you care about your patients. And protecting their privacy is very important very to you. Very important. And I understand, and I think that'll go a long way. Yeah. It, yes. It's, I don't think it's hurt us. No. <laughs> you know, no. It's been a steady growth. And, and that's the perfect segue to my next question. Are you the only doctor in Raleigh that does this? Plastic surgery? Yes. No. No. You're no. not. No. That's, that's the not. correct answer. No, you're not. <laughs> so what, aside from the social media piece that we talked about, what differentiates deal plastic surgery or what makes you unique? I don't know if it makes us unique, but I think that um, it's so important to spend a lot of time with patients. Mm -hmm. I schedule a long time with my consultations because I feel like we need to get each other. Sure. And if we're not getting each other, then maybe this isn't the best fit, but um, just to make sure that you are completely understanding the patient and you can't do that rushed. Mm-hmm. So there's there needs to be um, really good communication. We have to have a good rapport. We have to mm-hmm. like each other. We have to and and the thing is, we have that. And I like my patients. Mm-hmm. And it's unusual to not connect with somebody. Sure. If you spend enough time with them, you find common things and common interests. And it's very very important to have a very good communication before you are going to do something to somebody. Indeed. So I think that you just have to really feel like you're communicating well with your patients. And if I'm hearing you correctly, the underlying tone is you build a relationship. You and Absolutely. Team, you build a relationship with your clients. Right. And we all know that people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Yeah. So you're doing a phenomenal job in that area. Well, I think that everybody who comes here needs to feel like they're getting a hug. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a good thing. That's yeah. a very good thing. And I will just say this, prior to us getting together for this interview, I spent about 10, 12 minutes out in your waiting area. Your staff is wonderful. Mm-hmm. The clients that come in, they don't have that cat on the ceiling look because I think some of them may have been repeat clients and they just have a relaxed demeanor and they just cannot wait to meet with you or whoever they're meeting with to have their services done. So I think that's a beautiful thing. Good. Well, mm-hmm. it's important for people to feel like they're coming somewhere where they're respected, not mm-hmm. judged, and liked. Sure, absolutely. So let me ask you one final question. What is the best way to drive business to deal plastic surgery? How do you want people to make contact with you? I mean, the best way to drive business is, I think, being good at what you do Mm -hmm. and being responsible and caring and, you know, the word just gets out and it spreads and and you're going to have success that way. As far as things that you can actively do to drive business is be aware of your online presence. Mm you can't live in a vacuum and you can you can make decisions but you just have to be smart about it and right. you can't keep throwing your money into advertising that's not working mm-hmm. i mean sometimes you have to step back and really take a very critical look at things as a business owner and mm-hmm. that's not what we do you know we we're, we come to work we do our job and we go 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 but you have to step back and you have to look at it like what would my accountant think if he looked at my monthly You're exactly budget right. and mm-hmm. i think that um that's the hard part because we just want to do our job, but as a business owner, that's half your job is to run your business. Absolutely, to run it effectively and right. efficiently and find that balance right? so that our accountant won't say, what did you do? Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So give us contact information for Cynthia Deal and Deal Plastic Surgery. Absolutely. The website is um, www.dealplastics.com okay. with an S, and our phone number is 919 381 5540. And give us your address here in beautiful Briar Creek. <laughs> 10208 Cerny Street, Suite 204, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27617. Wonderful. Well, thank you again. I have to say, Dr. Deal, because you have earned it, Miss Cynthia. Uh-huh. So thank you for allowing us to get some insight thank as you. to your business. 
Again, I'm Karen Boone, State Farm Agency owner. Today, I'm here on behalf of Small Business Insights, and it has just been a pleasure. Thank you.